Hey, today I'm going to show you the top three glitches that you can use to progress in the scoreboard a lot faster, and you want to do this before a patch date. The reason for this is there is a possibility that these glitches can be patched when that patch day arrives on July 7th, so make sure you take full advantage of these glitches. Starting off at number three, let's talk about unlimited maps. Yes, yeah, so most of you are aware of this, but I want to update you guys a little bit more that you can get about 1200 XP per a dig site. You will want to locate one of these U mine at vending machines. You will then want to purchase all three maps. Now, you can go to several locations. This one is at Purveyors, where you scrap your legendaries, and you're able to buy legendaries as well. We want to open up our pit boy, we want to go to items, and then we'll want to go over to our notes but sometimes it can be located in new if you've just bought it. In order to do this glitch, it is quite simple and it has been around for a good solid year as you just drop the bag, click no, put it back, then you want to back out and then you'll want to click yes. So it'll be no and yes. That's all you have to do. So no and back out and then click yes. If you look at the top left, you're going to notice that it says checkpointed. And if you check within your inventory, you're going to still have those maps. You can do this for the rest of the maps. And then from there, you'll just want to back out and redo the steps so that you can collect more spots on the map. What I recommend next, once you have revealed a good amount of locations, is to pop on an unyielding set, pop down some lunch boxes, and you can also probably use some cranberry cobblers and some well-rested bonus. In this clip right here, I did not use any lunch boxes, but I did use an unyielding power armor set and a good old uh, cranberry cobbler and some other bonuses there like the well-rested and whatnot. But if you do this, you can actually get 1200 XP. I'd even go as far as saying that you could possibly get even 2000 XP per a dig spot, which would be unbelievable. Uh, especially if you had like 10 spots there, that's like 20,000. XP right off the bat. At number two, we have unlimited conduits or just unlimited camp objects in general. I know a few of you have had some issues understanding this glitch in the past, and this is probably because of me. Maybe I didn't explain it too well, and I will take the responsibility for that. And I would like to be able to present this glitch to you today and be able to explain it a lot better than when I first released this. So, what we will do is we will want to place down a vending machine. And then you will also want to go to your stash box and either place down a stash box or a scrap box depending on if you have fallout first or not. For the next step of this glitch, you're going to need an intrusion module that you can get from Ward's Daily Quest. Once you have this quest item in there, we are going to look at the items to the right here, such as the steel, copper, and circuitry that this intrusion module has. So now that we have taken note of that, let's go into our scrap box and we're going to grab those items. Let's grab the circuitry, let's grab the copper, and let's grab the steel, because this was all within the intrusion module. As you see right here, we've gotten the steel, the circuitry, and the copper as well. All of the materials that were in the intrusion module are in here. And this is all from our stash box. Now what we want to do next is we want to go to our vending machine and we want to assign these items. The reason why is when we do assign these items, you're going to notice that the game itself is trying to use the intrusion module instead of the actual items that you have assigned within your vendor. This is what makes the glitch happen, and I know that this was probably the most confusing part of the glitch is because most of you were wondering as to why uh, you were not able to scrap the intrusion module, which that's not the glitch. What you do is you assign those items that the intrusion module has. Again, for example, the steel, circuitry, and copper that was within there. We want to grab those items out of our stash box, and we want to then assign those to the vendor. Once you have that, you're going to notice that you're able to place down a limited amount of items. Now, for sure, you're going to see that the ceramic is being used, but that's okay because you'll eventually get that back. Now for items like this, you will have to go to Chloe's quest and do the same exact step. But you will be able to get most of the lumen back if you do it with this item right here. Because you can get 100 XP. If you would like to check out the full tutorial on this one about how to reset Chloe, I'll leave a suggestion box above and you can check that out right away. And last but not least, we are at number one, which is going to be the new unlimited scorch glitch under map 
at the second location because of course we have two different ones but I'm not going to show you how to do this within this video now let's say that you don't know how to do this and you want to learn you can click the suggestion box above on the top right or you can go into my videos and find it there as well after you are done with this scorch glitch you're gonna even have more fun because you get to pick up all the leftover items that the scorch have left when you have taken them out and what's best about this is if you do this you can actually use the scrapper per card and take this on over over to the workbench scrap down all of those weapons that you have just retrieved and you'll be able to get a lot of steel back rubber and even lead at some times because there are points where the scorch can hold on to lead pipes and you scrap those suckers down and you'll be good to go and here is the top three glitches that I recommend that you do before patch day of course to raise up your scoreboard and just in case that they do patch this glitch hope you guys have a great day take care of yourselves live well happy glitching and I can't wait to see you guys on the comment section down below. See you until next time. Peace.